رسول اینڈ وین اے میسنجر فرام اللہ کیم ٹو دیم مصدق اللہ ماں مارا ہوں اگین دی سیم ورڈس کنفرمنگ دیٹ وچ واز آلریڈی پریزنٹ ود دیم دیٹ از تورا ان انجیل نبض فریق من الذین اوت الکتاب کتاب اللہ و رازو رہی اے پارٹی اے گروپ اف دوز ہو ور گیون دی بک اف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بیفور دس قران دی تھرو دس بک دس نیو بک اف اللہ قران ان دیئر بیکس کانہم لا یعلمون اے دی ڈونٹ نو دی ڈونٹ ریکگنائز اور دو دی نیو دی ریکگنائز یارفونہو کما یارفون ابناہو دی ریکگنائز ایٹ جسٹ ایز دی ریکگنائز دیئر اون سنز بٹ دی اپیرنٹلی ٹوک دی ایٹیچیوڈ اف تھروئنگ اٹ اوے نو 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 نتھنگ اٹس نتھنگ سو ایکچولی دس دیٹ واز دیئر اپیرنٹ ایٹیچیوڈ وتبعو ما تقل الشیاطین علی ملک سلیمان ناؤ اف یو لیو سم تھنگ دیٹ از کریکٹ then necessarily something wrong comes in its place when they gave up following the book of allah they started pursuing other occult sciences sorcery magic all these things you know that are very common among some muslims also the ignorant muslim also so taweez gande sorcery and magic and this and that so these become you know articles of interest with those people who don't have the real deen before them but tabau when they threw back on their backs the books of allah subhanahu wa taala the real guidance what did they pursue but tabau ma taklu shayateen ala mulk sulaiman and they followed followed what the shayateen they were pursuing or reciting in the days of the kingdom of solomon سلیمان علیہ الصلاۃ والسلام وما کفر سلیمان ولاکن الشیاطین کفر اول دس میجک یو ول فائنڈ گوز ان دی نیم اف سلیمان نقش سلیمانی یو نو دی تاویز ایز اف اول دیز تھنگز یو نو دی اوریجنیٹڈ فرام حضرت سلیمان علیہ الصلاۃ والسلام قران سیز نو وما کفر سلیمان دی سورسری اینڈ میجک اٹ از کفر ہاؤ کڈ سلیمان علیہ الصلاۃ والسلام کمٹ کفر وما كفر سليمان ولكن الشياطين كفر this were the shayateen during his days because you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him the control over jinns and among the jinns there were muslims also and shayateen also so although they were under the control of suleiman but they had their own creed they had they had their own privileges priorities and they spread among the 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 jews of those days their own teachings and their own practices and this is how this magic and sorcery you know that permeated the whole jewish society wama unzila ala al malakain bi babil harut wa marut and this is the sunna of allah subhanahu wa taala that when something wrong you know becomes prevalent in a society then allah subhanahu wa taala puts their society to some big test and trial so allah subhanahu wa taala sent down two angels harut and marut wama unzila ala al malakain bi babil in babylon and that was the days of the captivity of the jews when nebuchadnezzar had destroyed jerusalem and took so many of them as captives to babylonia babel and they are actually during that captivity period the sorcery and magic and all these things these occult sciences they became very prevalent wama unzila ala al malakain bi babil harut wa marut wama yu'allimun min ahad hatta yaqula and these both angels in the form of men they never taught anybody this that seher and magic and sorcery but they said beforehand inna ma nahnu fitnatun we are a test from allah subhanahu wa taala we are a trial for you fala takfur you don't commit kufr you don't try to learn this seher this magic and this sorcery fa yatawallamuna minhuma despite this warning from those angels they learned from them ma yufarriquna bihi bain al-mar'i wa zawjihi that thing with which they could separate the husband from the wife separation causing separation between the wives and the husbands wa ma hum bidharrina bihi min ahad although the real fact is that they couldn't do any harm to anybody except with the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nothing can happen without the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is an article of faith 
no food can be can do any good to you no medicine can do any good to you without the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the things you know they have all the minerals and all the compounds they have their own properties but these properties can't come into actual effect without the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so even magic by itself it cannot do anything but with the permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illa bismillah wa yata'allamuna ma yadurruhum and they used to learn from them what harmed them wala yanfa'uhum and was not beneficial to them wala qad alimu although they very well knew it was made plain to them which was clear to them in torah laman ishtarahu ma lahu fil akhirati min khalaq who ever will pursue this sorcery and magic who ever will purchase it who ever will adopt it for him there is no share in the hereafter ma lahu fil akhirati min khalaq min khalaq wa rabbi sama sharaw bihi anfusahum but indeed it was very bad for which they sold their own souls la kanu ya'lamun only if they could know actually they didn't know what they are doing what harm they are doing to themselves by taking to these pursuits by adopting these lines and these attitudes they were actually throwing themselves with their own hands into the fire of hell walau annahum amanu and had they came to believe if they had the real belief if they real if they really believed la masubatun min indillah khair then the reward from allah subhanahu wa taala would have been much better for them had they stuck to the right path had they followed the book of allah instead of these practices of shayateen this magic and sorcery instead of these things had they followed the book of allah subhanahu wa taala had they followed the truth and the straight path la masubatu min indillah khair then the reward that they would have got from allah subhanahu wa taala would had been much better much better la kanu ya'lamun only if they could know only this if they had the real knowledge barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikri al hakim